Hi parents and students, this is Miss Myers and I have created this YouTube channel so that I can provide um, lesson content to parents and to students who um, either need extra help or outside of the home for whatever reason. I want to make sure that parents and students completely understand what it is that we're doing in class every day. And so we're going to kind of, the first couple of lessons, the first couple of videos on this channel will be recap, meaning there are things that we're, we've already done and we're, we've moved on, but um, they're still very important and the students need to know this information as we move forward. Um, everything at the end of this unit on hurricanes will be displayed, our knowledge will be displayed, students will show that they have learned this material by writing an essay, a grade appropriate essay um, about hurricanes using grade appropriate vocabulary, using grade appropriate sentences, um, and I'm very excited to see what they have to put together. So. At the beginning of my lesson one, this is lesson one, we had a sentence stem, meaning I provided a sentence for the students and they had to um, get out, pull out as much information from the sentence stem as they could. The sentence is, while inside their house, people huddled together, held hands, and prayed. We looked at this sentence for multiple reasons. First of all, we pulled out the nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. So house, people, hands, right? Those are all things that, um, those are all per people, place, and thing. Then we looked at the verbs, right? So huddle, held, and prayed. Those are all actions. Um, then we also took it apart and looked at the subject, which is the who, like who is doing the action in this sentence. And then we looked at the predicate or the what the action is. So um, the subject in this sentence is people because the people are doing these actions, right? Inside their house is where they are, but the people, they, they huddled together, they held hands and they prayed. So the subject is the people while inside their house people. Um, what did they do? What is the action? Well, they huddled together, held hands and prayed. So that's the predicate. Um, those are some of the things that we have been working on since the beginning of school, understanding the different wor types of words, understanding grammar, understanding that in order for something to be a complete sentence, it must start with a capital letter, it must end in punctuation, it must have a subject, and it must have a predicate. Um, we are our main focus is hurricanes. Um, in our first lesson, we learned how hurricanes are formed. Um, it's pretty easy. The uh, the storm system comes in and it, it is created over warm water. The uh, um, wind comes in and it picks up and and moves around between hot and cold air. The um, water off the top of the ocean and brings the storm in. Um, the students learn the definition of the word evaporate. Our next activity, um, we really focused back on writing sentences. Um, they had to create sentences about hurricanes with their shoulder partners. Then we, we talked about it. And I always have the students check back and look at their sentences. Does it, when it asks, does it meet all of the requirements? That was, does it have a subject? Does it have a predicate? Does it have capital letters? And does it have punctuation? Also, at this point, I realized that um, I needed to simplify things for the students, even though um, the material is being presented as um, the state requires some of it, some of the concepts and the amounts of information that was required to be presented in one lesson was too much. Um, we needed to go a little slower. So less, after lesson one, the pace does slow down a little bit and less information is presented. So we had the opportunity to go over that information in more depth. 
So we all we do this thing called Ripple. Um, the activity called Ripple is where I pose a question, the students have the opportunity, and I and I give them my model by thinking, and then the students have the opportunity to think about what their their answer would be. Then they have the opportunity to write that down. Then before they share all that information with the class, they have a safe space to share it with their partner. And then we share as a class, meaning I call on some people to answer the question. This question is, what do you know about the hurricane rating system? We have a table where it shows the categories one through five, the wind speed for each one of those categories, and then the potential damage each category could cause. Uh, we uh, really looked closely at that, and um, this was their first question. Our next activity, we um, took sticky notes um, where we decided what we thought the word evacuate evacuate meant. Um, they wrote their definition on their sticky note and they put it on the anchor chart. And then we talked about evacuate. Um, we were able to use context clues from this sentence. Many roofs and some buildings destroyed, severe window and door damage, major flooding with water on lower floors of buildings, and many people must be evacuated. So what happened to the people when all of this damage was happening? What is the best thing to do with with the with the people in this situation? How, that helps you understand what evacuate means. The next, we had another um, think pair share. Like, what are the parts of the word? What's the um, do you know of any words similar to evacuate? Um, was there a clue in the original sentence? That's the process. Um, we went over the culminating task on the first day so that the students understand why we're learning this, what is going to come of all of this information that we that we're um, that we're collecting. Uh, we will what will we do with this? We will create posters that explain three ways hurricanes impact people and communities, and we will use the new information from all of our learning logs from now until the end of the unit to get our information to create these posters. And we will also write a short essay. So that's a wrap. That's what we learned about in our first lesson.